My name is Chad Wilson. Uh, I'm a general surgeon, and here in Kajabi Hospital, I'm one of the consultant uh, surgeons, which means, like in the United States, that means I'm an attending or I'm, I'm a fully trained general surgeon. I was all over the map in what I wanted to do with my life. Initially, I, my thought in life was I wanted to be wealthy <laughs> and not work too hard. And I was really good at math and science, and I wanted to study engineering. And my plan was I was going to have about five or six patents by the time I was, you know, 35 years old and uh, be ready to retire when I was 40. I stayed in Texas uh, and went to uh, State College at the University of Texas at Austin for undergrad, studied chemical engineering. Um, worked for Exxon briefly uh, as a chemical engineer, but didn't enjoy that. I thought about becoming a physician, but I heard they worked too hard. I didn't want to work as hard as they did. But then it finally clicked to me that if you have a career that you really love, that's tr a true calling, then it won't feel like you know, I mean, even 40 hours a week is too much if you're not into it. So I uh, quickly went to medical school in Maryland at Johns Hopkins and graduated from Johns Hopkins in 2001. And that's when I moved to Boston to do my surgical residency at Massachusetts General Hospital. By the time I finished, I really was committed that I wanted to take care of patients that other people really weren't that interested in taking care of. I initially thought this was something I was going to do at the tail end of my career, when, you know, sort of when I was semi-retired. But as I was finishing my residency, it all of a sudden seemed better that I go serve when I was young and energetic instead of waiting until I was old and my skills were declining and I couldn't see well. <laughs> Surgery is exciting and adventurous regardless of where you are. But here it's, it's, it's sort of amplified because the patients come in sicker, um, the problems are more bizarre. It's also adventurous because you step out of your comfort zone you know, in the United States, I don't have to, like the case I just did, you know, I was doing neurosurgery. And that's exciting for me. It's not exciting for a neurosurgeon because they do it all the time. But that's very adventurous for me because I wasn't really trained to do that. There's no better way you can spend your first year. I get to do a, br a broad breadth of general surgery. I'm not in some box getting bored doing laparoscopic gastric bypass every day. I'm taking care of different variable things every day. It's, it is a dream practice that any general surgeon would want. The, the main loss for a young surgeon to come out here is, the, is that they don't get to live in the United States and eat at fancy restaurants every day, you know. If there were the right, um, the right amount of funding and people felt like they could come here without, you know, putting their family in financial jeopardy, um, I can't imagine who wouldn't want to come and work here because you get to do what you were trained to do and you really get to help people um, every day and they're so appreciative. I mean, even when I mean, I just, I just told of the family of that guy I operated on that he, that they're, that I just told this woman, your husband's brain dead. They were obviously, you know, deeply mournful, but before I would, I could get away, they were already saying, well, thank you for what you did. It's not so much the adventure was what I wanted. I just wanted to take care of people that, that really need a doctor. And you know, in the United States, my skills are redundant. Um, the, the United States does not miss me. Um, you know, I'm just another general surgeon and I can easily be replaced. But here, without me, there would be people who would have problems who would not get care. It's confirmed to me all the time that I'm, I'm serving and doing what God designed me to do.